Welcome to Crema Media TV. I'm Tracy Hancock. Joining me in studio today is the Law Society of South Africa's Immigration Law Committee Vice Chairperson, Chris Waters, to discuss issues surrounding immigration law in South Africa. Has the transformation of the Department of Home Affairs been successful? Well, the department's going through uh, what I think is its third or fourth transformation program. Um, and each has, um, I think, shall we say, founded. Um, uh, we're waiting to see how the current one uh, works. They've thrown a lot of money at it. We've, we've seen improvements in terms of civic functions, which are getting ID books and birth certificates. Um, but in terms of um, the, the real coal face, which is uh, in terms of getting permits for foreign nationals, uh, the jury, I think to be polite, is out on whether or not the transformation program has, has succeeded. I think one of the, the huge issues they're debating is, uh, you know, why have all these, these, these programs failed, but no one's asking the, the million dollar question, or one and a half billion dollar question, rand question. Do you think there's xenophobia in the department? I don't think the xenophobia is linked to the transformation issue. I think that but generally there is, um, and there will be in any uh, department, but it's, it's sad that it's in, it, in home affairs. There's, there are definitely xenophobic elements within, within home affairs. Um, and it's, it's sad and ironic that they are actually charged with um, addressing xenophobia in the country. The immigration legislation expressly puts the onus on home affairs to, to educate communities to, to, uh, to address xenophobia. And um, if, kind of, if their officials, if key officials are uh, um, not up to speed, shall we say, or enlightened, um, that has to be a, a, a quite a difficult burden to discharge. And how has the recession impacted on immigration into South Africa? Well, as a general statement, whenever there's a, there's a recession, the, um, uh, the first jobs to go will be uh, those who are, who are most vulnerable, the, the foreign nationals who are on contracts. They'll be told to pack their bags and go. And um, uh, the idea generally is that we then want to encourage uh, people to to find these skills from you know find them locally, um, so that if we have these pools of unemployed South Africans uh, to bring it home, that they must be um, employed before we employ foreign nationals. Um, mm. In in real terms, yes, the recession definitely has it's it's it's, it's hurt across the board. I mean, we we see it. Um, in, in all the other major jurisdictions um, that the list of what are scarce skills have been shortened, requirements have been tightened, um, you know, proof that you can't find a person back home have, have, has, 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 has have been tightened up too. Um, there hasn't really been a, a, uh, a limitation here. Um, but uh, you know, em employing a foreign national is just not a cheap option. It's not a, you know, a ready-made um, solution to a, to a company's um, kind of cash flow problems if the things are tightening up. South Africans will be cheaper. Um, but uh, but yeah, definitely the recession has has hit the immigration uh, sector. And how is the two thousand and seven amendment? of the Immigration Act uh, affected foreign companies who are operating in South Africa? Well, the, the, the 2007 amendment was um, principally introduced to address a problem around uh, foreign companies trying to transfer staff into the country. Uh, in terms of the current legislation, um, companies can only transfer a person for a, a maximum period of two years. Uh, at the end of that two-year period, the person has to leave. Um, the, the, the permit can't be renewed, it can't be extended, it can only be given on a, uh, on a once-off basis. So the, uh, as I said, one of the major objects of the objectives of the amendment was to address that and, and correct that. Um, now that amendment hasn't yet come into operation. Um, 
due in large part to the Minister's Immigration Advisory Board not having set, um, at least until very recently. Uh, and so we've been waiting for yeah, three years for this uh, um, amendment to be, to be passed. Uh, it's had a huge um, kind of consequence or knock-on effect for companies because uh, it can work out very, to be very, very expensive for companies because um, if the, the person's permit expires, um, you know, the person has to leave, he has to uh, go back to his country of origin. Uh, if he's got family, they must go with him. Um, and then they have to you know, apply to re-enter. Uh, so as I say, it can, in, in a, a number of scenarios, um, have a, a very real and significant cost element and a loss of productivity. So we're really hoping that this amendment will uh, see the light of day um, eventually, or before the end of the year. Thank you, Chris. Pleasure. That was the Law Society of South Africa's Immigration Law Committee Vice Chairperson, Chris Waters, on the issues surrounding immigration law in South Africa.